the mission of our center is to develop research tools that are used by computational scientists all over the world. The two major tools our center develops are called NAMD, which is a molecular dynamic simulation package that runs on desktops all the way up to clouds and supercomputers, and VMD, which is a molecular visualization, analysis, and simulation preparation tool. Experimental science has delivered tremendous, high-resolution, detailed atomic structures for human health-relevant biological complexes. We need to refine those structures, improve their accuracy, and simulate their dynamics while retaining all the in vivo information and context that's important to make that simulation meaningful and representative of reality. Those data sets are very large and cumbersome to work with, and we want to increase not only the size of the structures that we can simulate at this detail, but also the time scale. CUDA is critical for leveraging the computing power that we have with GPUs. CUDA is really the programming abstraction that makes it possible for us to describe to a GPU hundreds of thousands to millions of little independent data parallel work units and to write readable software that does this work and runs at very high fraction of the theoretical peak performance of the hardware. CUDA has evolved to encompass new hardware features as GPUs have evolved from 2007 to now. And some of the advances in the latest version of CUDA address computing overheads, like how long it takes to launch a kernel, copy various data, things like this. So CUDA is really a key component in what makes a GPU useful. I think the single most noteworthy achievement that GPUs have allowed our laboratory to achieve in the last 10 years was the solving of the atomic structure of the HIV capsid. The GPUs were involved in the modeling, visualization, analysis, and simulation of those structures, and they were a critical part of the success of that research project.